The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 572 Munch, Munch, Munch. Two mares stared into each other's eyes with iron determination, a gravy soaked morsel of food floating in a telekinetic aura between them. You going to eat that? Psyching myself up for it. I'm not done yet, Amber insisted, groaning uncomfortably. Give me a minute and I can manage another bite or two. Or you could eat it? Uh, Shine Spark folded her ears, an equally uncomfortable expression on her face. Amber, my stomach feels like it's going to explode. I might have to be finished. But we're so close, Amber whined, pointing at the plate between them. Three more bites and we'll have it. Three more bites. You take one, I take two. <laughs> Valet giggled groggily from where she sat on her back, a half-finished plate stacked atop five udders that had been licked clean. You had to team up just to try to break even with me, and now I'm still gonna win. Yeah. <coughs> if I eat this, you will eat the next two? Shinespark gave Amber a desperate look. We have to beat her. I'll manage it. Maple pursed her lips nearby as her cooking was used for sport, everyone else having gratefully finished the meal and settled in to watch or silently cheer. Amber returned the look with a confident nod. We have this! Closing her eyes, Shine Spark stuffed a bite in her own mouth, chewing slowly and eventually bringing herself to swallow. She was silent for a moment, grimacing, and opened her eyes with a game smile. Did it! Now you eat two more, and we win! Keep telling yourself that, Valet mumbled, waving her cast at the plate she hadn't touched in the last fifteen minutes. She burped again. Amber steeled herself, folding her ears, and gave her and Shinespark's plate a look of grim determination. Without waiting for telekinesis, she lowered her head and took a bite. Yes! Ha! Go Team Amber, Gerardo whispered, pumping a talon and quietly rooting. Slipstream shushed him with a feather. Oh. Amber took even longer to swallow than Shine Spark, sweating. Split the last one, 50-50? Are you really finished? Shine Spark watched her in desperation. You said two. Fillet's done. We're one away. Across from her, Amber groaned. Sorry. Shine Spark narrowed her eyes. Fine. Victory now. Consequences later. She lit her horn, took the last bite, and chewed, unable to swallow. Shinespark? Amber tensed. Mm -hmm. Shinespark mumbled around the food in her mouth, eyes watering. Mm -hmm. She pressed her ears straight back, tilted her head toward the ceiling, held for a second longer, and slowly, finally swallowed, holding the position and refusing to take a breath. Amber's face split in a relieved, uncomfortable grin. We won! Oh, I'm going to be uncomfortable for a bit, but we won! She got up cautiously to hug Shine Spark, who stayed frozen in place, pushing her back with a light forehoof, before finally looking down, returning the pained, victorious look. All right, that'll do it. We did it! Don't squeeze me too hard. I feel like a balloon, Amber agreed, giving her a light shoulder squeeze before turning to blow a raspberry at Valet. Take that! I told you I could beat you! <laughs> Valet leaned a forehoof on the table, resting her cheek on it with an amused smirk. Yeah, but you needed help. You really want to say that counts? Shinesburg groaned. This had better count. It counts, Amber insisted. It totally counts. You sure about that? Valet raised an eyebrow. 
like you actually 100% sure you want this to be on the record? I did not stuff myself this full for nothing, Amber managed, Shine Spark subconsciously leaning against her. And neither did she. We took you down, Valet. Valet shrugged. Whatever. I warned you. Then she leaned down, stuck out her tongue, wiped the entirety of her half full plate into her mouth, swallowed, patted her stomach, and belched. There, she grinned contentedly. I never said I was done. Amber and Shine Spark's jaws dropped. Quickly, Valet was out of her chair and standing between them, a wing on each of their backs. She pointed at the half-empty plate they had been sharing as well. So, you gonna finish that? Amber buried her face in her hooves. Shine Spark just winced. Please, don't shake me right now. Valet took that as permission, polishing off their plate too in a matter of seconds, her tongue not even leaving a trace. Good stuff, Iron Flanks, she happily declared, not looking remotely bothered by how much she had just devoured. What's for dessert? I... Amber gaped at the plate. Yeah, Valet poked her. Remember, you said it was official. Now you just got officially wrecked. Take that. Maple just shook her head and began to clear the last of their plates from the table. If you're serious, apple cobbler, but I think you need to leave some for everyone else. Valet burped again as the others cheered for dessert, still hugging Amber and Shine Spark with her wings. Okay, but seriously though, I am pretty full. Good game. Wanna go lay around in the library chairs and do absolutely nothing? I think I might need to. Uh, Shine Spark's eyes watered, and she nodded toward the stairs. Several minutes later, the three mares were as comfortable as they were going to get, all three laying on chairs on their backs or their sides, and not thinking about dessert. I think I'm going to have to skip dinner tonight, Shine Spark moaned, eyes unfocused. Yeah, we better, Amber agreed, staring at herself with her legs splayed out wherever they felt like going. So hey, Shine Spark, glad to see you're feeling up and better after Riverfall. I know we've chatted a few times, but all my memories of you were with you in a cast like Valet's, out of a cold and being all destitute about cleaning this airship. Congrats on getting back on your hoofs from all that. Shine Spark focused a little. Oh, thanks. It's been a long road. Things haven't been easy either. Amber nodded sadly. I heard about Granada. Yeah, Valet sighed unhappily. You'd think getting caught up in a pile of pirates would be enough to give someone a reality check, but yeah, mistakes were made and now she's wherever. Poor kid. Didn't seem like she was in the best place and I kinda didn't do anything about it. It wasn't your job to do anything about it. It was mine. Shine Spark gave her a look. I was happy with our relationship being one thing. She wanted it to be something else. And after we both knew each other felt that way, I messed up. Amber nodded. Must have been especially hard with her basically back from the dead. When I was a filly, I was playing with a friend on the docks and they fell in and the adults had to resuscitate them and weren't sure for a moment whether they had drowned. She woke up and that's my closest experience to all this, but it really wasn't the same. I'm okay though, Shunsberg promised. Valley helped me through it. Even if it still does sting to have lost her again through things that are entirely my fault. Hey, I'm not cool with being a mopey downer, Valet waved a forehoof. It's way too close to home with what it feels like this empire is trying to do to me. I see something I can do, I'm gonna do it, especially for my friends. Amber grinned. Sounds like you're in a good circle of friends, or even have one great friend in particular. Her head tilted slightly. She wanted to be romantic with you, right? Granada, do you just not feel like it's your time for romance in general? Shine Spark lowered her head. It's a side of myself I hadn't given myself chance to explore in Anridge, but Granada is my sister. There's a big difference between that and a lover. Amber nodded sympathetically. Blood sister, right? Did you grow up together? We didn't. Shine Spark shook her head. I didn't even know about her until I was old enough to understand things like how my siblings worked and how my father had many lovers. Probably six or seven? 
Amber pursed her lips. Willow and Maple are my sisters, she said, eyes growing distant. Not because we're related. We could be related, but we have no real idea. But it's because we spent our fullhoods together, not because our dad really liked mares. We spent our days and nights together, sleeping in the same room and going to each other's beds when we'd have a bad dream. We climbed roofs together to giggle at all the ponies below, shared each other's toys, laughed at the others when we weren't first in line to get a bath, and I don't think any sort of blood could change that. Shinespark folded her ears. I'm not sure where you're going with this, she admitted. That sounds great, and I'm happy for all of you. But what's it have to do with me and Granada? I don't know, Amber shrugged. Just felt like saying. Family is who you say it is. Feels like you're letting an excuse or convention get in the way of how you feel. Not getting in the way, Shinesburg countered. I know how I feel. I'm just saying we're sisters to explain it. I'm not looking for a way to think about her differently. Huh. Amber thought for a moment. Either way, that ship has sailed, Valet pointed out. Could have bailed. We both feel kind of bad about it, but what can you do? Not like I can smell her and track her down like starlight. Amber nodded. Yep, that's why I'm wondering where you're planning on going now. Shinespark blinked. I don't think we're planning on going anywhere. Valet has obligations here with the tournament now, unless she walks out on them and we don't have anywhere. Not physically, silly, Amber giggled. I mean with yourself. Sounds like you've just gotten through a heart patch and you've got no choice but to move on. What are you going to do with yourself? Who are you going to be? Just a mayor who sits around on an airship and does nothing? I... Shinespark folded her ears. Haven't really been thinking about it. Ah, uh, come on. Amber tried to swat at her from between their chairs, then winced, remembering she had recently overeaten. Whew, but girl, you're years younger than even I am. You've got a huge airship and a cool cutie mark, and I even just brought you more fuel to go wherever you want with it. You don't want to just let your life sit around going nowhere, right? She raised an eyebrow. I just gave Valet a big reminder about how much better you feel when you're feeling good. Can I give you a pep talk here too? Shinespark rolled over uncomfortably to look at her. You sound like you have an idea, she asked. Having something to do would probably do me well, but the main thing I brought to work on was the ship itself, and I haven't been feeling like that ever since we got that idea to use the Firefly Sisters singing against the pirates, and then couldn't do anything with it. Ah, uh, Valet huffed in agreement. Yeah, that was lame. And anticlimactic. Seriously, though, you could get back to fiddling away at that and try to get it to work next time. You never know when turning your airship into a portable concert venue for two magical performers we haven't seen in months could come in handy. Actually, I was thinking of you two. Amber pointed at them, earning two stares. Shinespark, I have a distinct memory of Valet flirting with you back in Riverfall like it was the end of the world and you getting so flustered you had to leave the room multiple times. Valet, I even told you before you left I wanted you to enjoy yourself and would be more than fine with you trying things out. She folded her ears. Guess that didn't pan out, huh? Valet and Shinespark gave each other a look. Look, it's not, not like, like I like... like... Both spoke at once, cutting each other off and ending with raised eyebrows and a bit of red on Shinespark's part. Valet held her daring expression for a moment longer, and then sighed. Getting some weird signals here, Amber admitted. You are really good friends at least, aren't you? You said you went to each other? No, I... like... Valet fidgeted while Shinespark tried not to be looked at. Well, bananas. She sighed. My cutie mark doesn't detect impending awkwardness, but if it did, it would probably be poking me right about now. It's, uh, meh. Sounds like it's time to have a relationship talk. Shinespark tried to get to her hooves, wincing a little and looking nervous. I should probably leave you? You know what? Valet looked at her again. I'd honestly be fine if you stayed. You've been in that mess with Granada. Odds of either giving or getting some cool insight are pretty good. And hey, I trust you. Think we'd be willing to move to a more private room also? Amber grinned awkwardly. Just because I'm the one with the most experience here doesn't mean I'm utterly shameless. Shinespark hesitated a moment longer, meeting Valet's eyes. Okay, I'll... I'll stay. Yeah, she swallowed. I trust you too. Cool. Valet relaxed before slowly hauling herself to her hooves as well. End of chapter 572